everybody, I am Jessica with the Book Rock Goddess, and this is Jade Artistic Word Lush, and we're coming to you from my bedroom again, because it's probably the quietest room in the house, but we'll probably get interrupted, <laughs> like we always do. But we had a great day in books, and actually a great week in books, probably. We went to Borders, as everybody knows, they're going out of business, of course, and I've said this several times, and um, everything is down to 90% off. And, you know, that makes for a great haul for me because I got like 22, 23 books. And, and I got 22. Got, yeah. I mean, hey, and it, mine was, my bill was like $27 and hers was $27. You can't beat that. You know, we were excited. Our bags, our baskets were so full. Yeah, we didn't but, bring them all up here, but we'll do another one later. Yeah, we'll do another haul. We, we would run out of time, so. Um, so. So, did we have anything else to say before we get started? No, just get started. Okay, we'll get started then. Um, my first book I want to show you, I did get from Borders uh, today, and I only paid $1.70 for it, and I was real, real excited to get it, and it is Starcrossed by Elizabeth C. Bounce, and, or Bunce, Bunce, I guess, and um, I saw it from a, a blogger on... YouTube the other day, and I really, really like her. I can't think of her name, but I love the way she described the world, the characters, everything. So I went ahead and bought it, and it was only $1.70. So I said, hey, you know, for a buck seventy, I'm going to give it a try. So, <laughs> okay. So I got Lewis Renison's Angus Bong's Full Frontal Snogging, the George Nichols series. Um, I actually have the other um, eight downstairs. I went into a got to have the entire series frenzy and bought all of them in one sitting so um yeah i'm kind of rereading this one right now so i just started it today so she's i can hilarious. read all of them i'm gonna read one through nine and just non-stop till it's over oh yeah so, i told <laughs> her she should save her because we're gonna do like an april a funny month in april because of april fools and she should probably save those for a funny month but she's real excited to read them so i might break you know yeah. like cause i don't know if i could finish this series right away Alright, and I also got at Borders today, which was Flip, because this was recommended to me to my, by my librarian in the youth department, or the teen department, yeah, teen YA, YA department, and she um, told me how great it was, and again, I got it for a dollar, this one was a dollar sixty, so you couldn't pass it up, so it's by Martin Bedford, and I don't know if it's dystopian or not, I know there's something, like, it says ever wake up in someone else's body so I don't know if he body jumps or something but it sounds cool so I'm going to definitely give it a try okay I got Frenzy by Francesca Leah Block um I actually love a lot of her books and some people say that they don't like it like a lot of people I've heard say that they don't like her um books but they don't I, understand her I think it's because she writes kind of you know she she's just quirky kind of, she is very quirky and I like her books though because I don't know they're just I feel like I can relate to them, maybe because I'm a little quirky too. But, Probably. Um, <laughs> and she's quirky. actually really pretty, and I. She seems like she'd be a fun person to hang out with. So I mean, not that you can see the picture, but um, yeah, I was excited to get this. It's the last one I had, and I only got it for like 99 bucks. So. Yeah, that was cool. Um, then I got Elixir the other day at Borders, and I'm kind of bummed that I didn't wait until today because I would only pay the dollar seventy for it. But I only paid like I think what was it, three bucks? Two or three bucks for it anyway. Yeah. So I really can't complain because I got it for like seventy percent off instead of or eighty, I can't remember which. Instead of the ninety. So <laughs> but I got the hardcover and I bought I actually I bought the paperback and I ended up giving her the paperback because she likes paperback and yeah, I like hardcover. I like hardcover. paperback cover anyway better. But. And um I think it's funny that Hillary Duff wrote this. <laughs> But Hilary Duff is cool. I like her, you know. I've been watching her on TV since she was a kid. And from what I hear, she actually wrote a really good novel, so. Yeah, I mean, the second one's coming out here pretty soon. She's a very talented girl. I have confidence in her. <laughs> I got um, Deadly Little Lies by, what's her name? Lori Stollers. Stollers? Um, I got the second one in hardcover downstairs. I bought that, too. I got this one for, like, not even 99 cents and I got the second one for dollar seventy. and the cover feels really cool and exactly. the funny part is is that the cover on the hardcover the little um jacket feels the exact same way as the paperback cover that so is cool. it 
and I can't wait to read this. I don't know what type of book it's going to be, but I have heard that a lot of people liked it anyway. It didn't give me much detail on what it was, but I can't wait to read that. I love the cover on that one, too. That one's cool. The second one looks similar to it. Does it? That's cool. Yeah. I got um, this book for today from uh, Borders for, I think it was 79 cents or 80 cents. It was J.R. Ward's MB. And it's actually new. I didn't even know that it, that would be there. I was so shocked to see it there because it's like brand spanking new. Um, it's her uh, Fallen Angel series, and it's the third one in the series, so I'm really excited to read it. I read the first two. Um, and it's definitely not the Brotherhood series, but it's like a companion, so I've been reading it. Brotherhood is better, but this is still pretty good, so I had to get it. I got 17th Summer by Maureen Bailey. Um, it's about a uh, summer love and a girl who thinks that doesn't believe in love and true love and this book changes is where she changes her mind over a summer and I, I can't wait to read this because I like those type of books where they're like, I like romance, okay, but I don't like adult romance. I like YA teen, I love you mushy romance, not the you I want to jump your bones romance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I also got this book. I'm actually reading it on that galley right now, but I like it so much that I went and bought it. And it is also an adult novel, and it's by Gina Showalter, and it's The Lord of the Vampires. Or, yeah, The Lord of the Vampires. Oh my gosh, I love this book so far. Every once in a while I get in the mood for an adult novel, and this one has definitely struck my fancy this time. And what is even better is it's got bonus short stories, like three other bonus stories in the book. Because, I mean... It's, a, it's not a very long book. It's only like 200 and some pages, but when you add the other stories in, it ends up being over 500. So I'm excited, and I like Gina Showalter, so hey, I'll give it a try. And for how much did I pay? Six seventy cents. <laughs> I'm not complaining. No. Um, I got Rotten Ruin by Jonathan Mayberry. Um, Bookish Brunette said it was really good, so I figured I would go out and pick it up. I've never read a zombie book, so I figured this might as well be my first one. So, it should be pretty good. And Mom over here got it today in hardcover. Which is funny, because I got mine, what, three days yep. before she got that one. Yes, and she paid more. I got it in hardcover for a dollar seventy. Yeah. So, I was super, super excited. So, I said, hey, gotta have it. And, the, what is the next one? So, if I like this one, I'm gonna buy the other Dustin one. Dustin DK. I'm gonna buy the other one in hardcover, because I have to have my books match, so... And I like hardcover better. She likes Yeah, but your back. book doesn't do that. Your book doesn't have that. Uh, no, my book doesn't have that. But it, it's, it's on the cover. And it doesn't matter. I don't my care. book does that. Yours doesn't. I don't care. I like mine. a human to zombie. Okay. I don't care. I didn't look on the inside, so. Ha! Yeah, but mine has these cool little pictures. Like, yeah, but mine like, doesn't. They look too. like little cards. Guess what? Okay. Mine's are in there, too. Oh, okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I got Sweetly, which she's highly jealous of. Yes, and, and ho -ho. But I might let her read it. We'll see. And it's by Jackson Oh, Pierce, I'll of read course. it. She just might let me read it first. I might let her read it first, which I rarely ever do with a new book. But um, Jackson Pierce um, wrote this, as everybody knows, and the cover's cool. And um, she may read it for Halloween, or Halloween reads, but... Look for it in her hall. Maybe she'll I do like it. I like trees. I'll probably save it for a fairy tale so. because it's Hansel and Gretel. And it does have a spooky cover, so it does go for Halloween. But um, the Hansel Gretel is the fairy tale thing, so I'll probably save it for problem. a fairy tale. I read soon just because of the tree on the cover. And then yeah. to do with the book. Oh my gosh, but that was so it good. It was a good book. Oh, I bought it in paperback. She had so it in hardcover, and I went out and bought it in paperback. <laughs> The author of that one is Nina Malkin. She's got a new book coming out. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but oh my gosh, when it comes out, we will have it. Oh yeah, because, we're going to fight. <laughs> it was amazing. We it loved was. it so much. Oh, you just went, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got the House of Dead Maids. Um, Freaky cover. Is, yeah, Ew. it's like Claire B. Dunkel. I like her scary stories, though, and everything. And Covered someone, I, I don't remember who it was. It might have been Misty the Book Rat. I don't know exactly. But someone said it was going to be for their October reads. It's a really short one, though. I'm going to read it. It's only like 145 pages. So mm. I figured, you know, it might as well. I and may it's supposed read to be it. really spooky. Mm. I mean, I read the inside of the thing, and it sounds pretty darn scary. So I'm pretty much 
can't wait to read that. That'll be with my rotten ruin. And I may read it if I get up the courage to read it, but I'm not really into ghost stories, and I just think the cover's ugh, gross, but I love it's it. It's gross in a cool, creepy sort of way. I, I think it's a pretty cover. I think it's creepy. It's like, the more you turn it, it's like, look at I that. mean, it's a cool cover, but it's creepy. I mean, it's chickens and eyeballs. It's a ghost. It still freaks me out. <laughs> I get it, but it's so freaky. <laughs> okay. All right. And next I got this book on NetGalley too, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to read it. Um, so I ended up buying it because I wanted um, to have a physical copy because um, not Jessica, but her sister. I can't think of That's so sad. From the Chapter Chicks. And I'm so sorry. I can't think of your name at the moment. I'm having a blank. She only remembers Jessica because that's her name. That's her name. Yeah, that's my name. So, you so know, don't I'm, feel like I, it's that big of a deal. I mean, <laughs> oh, who can forget my name? If she forgot name. hers, that'd be depressing. So. Yeah, that would be kind of sad <laughs> if I couldn't remember Jessica. <laughs> Given the fact that my name's Jessica. But anyways. She um, have to be committed. <laughs> <laughs> but Jessica, uh, um, the other girl, she has, um, the sister, had it in hardcover and red. And it looked fantastic. You have a sister. <laughs> well, don't, don't worry. I'll be the mother. You'll be the daughter. So okay. we do. But anyways, um, it, she gave a great review on it. And I have absolutely loved it. And when I seen this, I had to have it. And um, I, I like her cover better. And I agree with her that the cover was better. But I do like this cover also. So I went ahead and got it. And it sounds cool. So okay, I'm gonna the other it. day, we did a book haul. And I showed you Devouring. Um, I got the other two. I got Solstice and Fearscape. There's only three in the series, and I'm saving these for, um, my, uh, October reads, because I actually read the back of all three of them, and they're, they do seem pretty creepy, too. And I love the covers, because on each one of them, it's got this pretty little smoke feel, and I think it's awesome. So I can't wait to read that. I'm trying to get her to read it, too, yeah. after I'm done, but. I'm not real big into ghost stories, but we'll see. I happen to have the first book to this. And I haven't read it yet. This is Secrets. Um, it's the Ivy series, and it's by Lauren Coons and with uh, Rena Anyer. And um, cool, cool cover. I like that their pictures are on the back. That's kind of cool. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. I, I I don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but I got it because I have the first one, and I like the cover. So we'll see. Okay. I got Last Christmas by Kate Bryan. It's a private prequel. I actually have the first book, the pr private, to the private series, to see if I like it. But I haven't read it yet. And then I saw this, and then I was like, well, I'd rather read the prequel before I actually start the book anyway. So it'll do me some good. So <laughs> I don't like prequels when they come out after the book anyway. Yeah, me neither. So I, I, I mean, I'll like read. We'll read them. If, if I don't read prologues to books, so I feel like it's just one giant prologue. Oh, I read prologues. So, but I, I, got I like the prequel to come and before the And I will read this first. Yeah. Okay. okay. La my last book, I think, is that my last one? I don't think so. No, I think I showed them all. Yeah. We all started two at once, and I got two left. Well, then we did something wrong. You did something wrong. You missed mm -hmm. the book. Keep mm -hmm. going. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, my last book that I've got is The Iron Duke by Melon, um, Mel Jean Brooke. And I'm real, real excited to read this. I actually downloaded it on my Nook from the library, and then I forgot because I was reading something else, and I had to go back, so I had to have this book. So that's all I have, I think. I got two books left. I got Kathy Key's book. Um, it's by Stuart Wiseman Briggs. Um, it's a pretty cool book. Um, I got the first one downstairs. This is the second one. I haven't read the first one yet. But it's not really focusing in on the pages. There we go. There we go. See, there's different, like, little edges on each page. Yeah, so little it's drawing. pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. My old, my middle daughter, she has the, that book. So, the first yeah, I, one. I took it from her, so. <laughs> yeah, she, she I snatched it up. I confiscated it because I bought the second one. And then I've got What If All the Boys Wanted You by Liz Ruckleshaw and Sarah James. Um, this is a choose-your-own-adventure type book. There's more than one of these, um, but I didn't know if I'd like them, so I just bought this one, and if I do, I'll go back and buy the other ones, but I got this one at Barnes & Noble, so, um, that was in the used section, so I can't wait to read this one. This one is, I like the fact that I could read it, and then reread it, reread it, and it'll be different every time. Yeah, that's cool. She so. always liked those, and I did too when I was, um, a kid, and we still like them to this day. 
Yeah. But, so that's yeah. it for now. I mean, we've got more downstairs, but yes, we do. We just didn't want to bombard you. It's already at over 15 minutes, and we don't even know how to make this video any shorter because, of course, we get sidetracked. But I hope you enjoyed, and um, we'll be posting some reviews of some books coming up. And thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Bye.